Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Rag Bride 2024! I've ridden my bike all over the world, but there's something special about the magic that's created every summer in Iowa. When I first came out here in 2012, I was immediately blown away by the positive energy. The magic that's created during this event is infectious and everyone here can feel it. It's a place where everyone's welcome, everyone's encouraging, and everyone is having the time of their lives. And to be part of this community is a gift. This is my seventh time at Ragbri, and there's no place I'd rather be during the final week of July than riding through the cornfields of Iowa. This year, we assembled a giant group of like-minded goofballs called Team Doozer. We rode together, camped together, and ate way too many slices of Casey's breakfast pizza together. This 450-ish mile event brings out the best of humanity, and I hope that watching this video fills your heart with joy. Seven days in Iowa is definitely medicine for my soul, and it always inspires me to spread the magic of Ragbri throughout the year. Our world can always benefit from a little more kindness and love, and you'll see a ton of that in this video. For those of you who may not know, Ragbri is the oldest, largest, and longest recreational bicycle touring event in the world, and this is its 51st year. Oh, and there's about 20,000 or so people who make the voyage across the state. The route changes every summer and always starts on the west side of Iowa at the Missouri River and ends on the east side at the Mississippi. Good morning, my friends. Ragbri, day one. We're all breaking camp. We are in the Missouri River Valley, the town of Glenwood. Dana! Hi, Ryan! How you doing? Doing great, look. Team Doozer. Team How we feeling everybody? <laughs> good morning, good morning. Yeah. And I'm so excited I get to share the magic this year with the hiking, biking, biking. And if I was a like a totally cool hiking, biking, biking, whatever, I'd do a wheelie right now, but I don't know how. Come on, do a wheelie. Okay. Come on, do a wheelie, pop a wheelie. <laughs> We're going up our first little hill of the day. And this route in general, the entire week, I've heard is the second hilliest ragbri ever. So not only am I very excited to be back here in Iowa at Ragbri, but I'm back here in Ragbri land with some of my very favorite people and some of your very favorite people. Look who we have here. Hi. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Ryan. Why did you decide to come back? Well, I had to. You keep making all those videos and you make it seem so fun and so awesome because it is. I mean, <laughs> look at this. It's like you roll into town and the whole way you're riding, you're like, hey, good morning. How are you? Where are you from? Like. You can hardly tell you're actually riding the miles. It is so fun. And I thought it was going to be steeper hills. They're like the hilliest course ever, but it's not so hilly. They're really gradual and I'm having a blast. I can't wait. We got a whole week ahead of us. And what do you love most about Rag Ride? The people. Yeah. It's what I love most about the earth and the world. So it's the people. Like it's just amazing to see so many different people out here. Everybody from Iowa comes out if they're not riding a bike, they're sitting in lawn chairs, and it's like the best of who we are. And I need that right now. It's so, I'm, I'm just feeling great this morning. We're like nine miles in or something, and it's like, wow, we really are great, a great people in a great country, and I need that. I need that right now. We've got Bernard and Alistair from Kenya. Hey guys, how are you doing? Why do you love Ragbri? Oh, we love the camaraderie, we love the crowds, we love Ryan. Ryan is a bubble of energy. We love the energy, we love the vibes, and we just love hanging out with cyclists. What are you most looking forward to out there this week? Uh, riding with a lot of family and friends, just getting together, meeting new people, 
and embracing the love that Iowa provides all the riders here. We're 65 and 66, and we're loving being retired and do crazy stuff like this. Yeah, I love yes, it. And this yes. is your first time doing rag ride? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yes, good. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Have Ryan. an awesome week. Thank uh, you, you too. Ryan. Wow, look at that butt. Whose yeah. butt is that? It's mine. Oh, <laughs> what does this area remind you of, brother? Uh, parts of where I'm from, back in Pennsylvania, in the river valley of Susquehanna in central PA. A lot of Amish Mennonite farms. A lot of corn you can eat. <laughs> he says that because a lot of this corn is not for eating, it's for ethanol production or animal feed. This is not sweet corn. Bro, sweet corn from PA is like bomb. It is so good. Yes, What's up, buddy? How you doing? Hi, Boom. Who wants to do gravel? Come with us. It is time for a little bit of gravel as opposed to the previous years where there was an entire day dedicated to gravel. This year, there's little bits and pieces every day. And that's what we're doing, right, Hunter? That's right, a little bit every day. And I didn't ride this mountain bike for nothing. Yeah. Gotta put it to good use out here. Ole, <laughs> ole, 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 ole. Extra. He's got a Mr. Peb again. Extra Peb. <laughs> looking good, everybody. How you doing, Jack? Good. Good, buddy, you looking good. Powering up that hill, no big deal. Country road, take me home <laughs> to the place. How's it going, buddy? Hey, man, good to see you. Happy Good's gravel you day. day. I belong, Iowa, mountain mama. Mocha, hi, Mocha. Wonder dog. You having a good day? So far, so good, yeah. So far, so good. Wonder Woman's in the house. Wonder Woman's in the house. <laughs> oh wait, you put us in your video last year. Uh oh, and I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> what uh, what inspires you to come back year after year? Hi buddy. I love the experience. Hi buddy. People, the towns, just getting to see parts of Iowa that I don't know about. Have fun. You can always count on the state troopers to be blasting good music. All right, Java, it's the first slip and slide type thing. Let's go, let's go. He's a virgin, he's going for it. Yeah. Woo. It's the best week of the year. It, it, without question, it's the best week of the year. You get to ride your bike every day. You're fully supported. There's no cars. There's there's refreshments. There's adult beverages. There's fun. There's what you know. It's it's something for everybody. There's a diverse set of people. You get to talk to cool people. You get to ride up and have chat with people you wouldn't normally see or whatever. And they're talking to you. And it's just the day just goes by like that. And it's 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 like paradise. Full ground disco. Disco. Oh, the rag by mascot. Last year my goal was to ride I think around 4,000 and I don't think I got quite there but this year I've ridden over 5,000 already. <laughs> what do you love most about riding your bike? Just the being free feeling of freedom I guess. We are a mentoring group for youth around the Des Moines Metro. We have loads of mentors and loads of youth that we recruit from all around the Des Moines Metro and we basically bike to challenge kids to stay mentally strong, keep going, keep pushing, keep fighting, and learn to love themselves. How does the dream team work? Uh, it's mostly, do well, I'm pretty sure it's like entirely donation based, but we have multiple like partners. Like our main one is Bike World, and they give us bikes for each rider to complete RAGBRAI with and train on, and if they complete RAGBRAI, they get to keep the bike at the end. My name's Enos Chavez, my older brother's Aaron, and he joined the Dream Team first, and then I decided to join, and I just learned how to ride a bike a year ago. A year ago? Yeah. And how has it transformed your life? Um, I'm way more active, and I can brag to my siblings that I've done it. <laughs> the Dream Team is really just a place where I can be safe around my peers and feel comfortable and have friends. I don't really get along well with a bunch of people at school, so it's really nice to have a place where I can feel safe and feel comforted and have that love that I'm looking for. I probably love the social environment because before I was really shy, but Dream Team really helped me get out there, I guess you could say. So, yeah. 
Yay! Wow, what a <laughs> epic water slide! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, that was like a white water rapid right there. Woo! <laughs> Sponsored by Celsius. <laughs> well, uh, I'm a native of Argentina and I came here to uh, go to hotel school and I worked in hotels my whole life. And 12 years ago, I went suddenly blind in two weeks and had to reinvent myself, became a professional speaker and I travel all over the country speaking. What's great about riding with Andre is it gets him to be able to go out into nature and he's blind, but he's not handicapped. Team Samaritan House, we started with the goal of just helping other people. And it's been a real blessing in our lives. I firmly believe that when you give to somebody else, the winner is not the person that receives the gift, it's the person that gives the gift. Three, two, one, go. You know, it's what I say is that change is inevitable, right? I mean, change is gonna happen, you're gonna go blind. But personal growth is optional. How do you see the change that happens to you? All right, Java, we're about 30 miles into day one. How you feeling? Sweaty. Sweaty. It's very sweaty. You're very sweaty. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> let's go! Let's go! You got four miles! Good job, everybody! Last hill of the day! You got this! Java, it's day one done. We just ro rolled into Red Oak. Yeah. How you feeling? I feel great. I mean, I did a little like uh, hard push the last couple miles, few miles, and I feel really good about it. What's up? Yo, 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 yo. Congratulations on day one. Way <laughs> to go, Team Doozer! <laughs> we did it! We did it! Dana, how was your day? It was so great. Good. Good. How about you, Zanta? Fabulous. I did it. You did, did it. it. Way to go. There's 58 hills. Boosh. Yes, <laughs> 58 <laughs> hills. <laughs> but you close. did it. Good job. Yeah. I mean, the vibe here is great. I mean, the good thing is that the people who show up here really make the vibe by just being great people and bringing positive energy. And I think the big thing is just everyone here is really present. Like, we all know we can't get on our phones. And, you know, we, we've handled everything we need to handle so that we can just be here and enjoy it. And we meet new people and we learn about people. When you sit in the saddle for a long time, you learn everything about someone. And that's something that you're going to carry. Even, you know, if you spend half hour with someone, you're going to carry that story with you forever. I think this is an amazing experience. It's teached me so much about how to pitch a tent, how to like rely on yourself, and it t it's given me so much grit, and especially the pie. Especially the pie, <laughs> yeah. And what are the moments where you need to use your grit? Those hills, sometimes those hills can get steep. I know they don't look so steep on camera, but <laughs> those can get steep. You know, Ryan, so we rode with you last year. It's just such a great opportunity to be able to share this with, with Jack. And it's not only just me and Jack, but it's the whole community that, that is a part of Ragbri and a part of Team Doozer. Like, just to share that with everybody. It's all joy. It's all happiness. And we're out there, yes, and it's hot, and it's muggy, and we're sweating. And to Jack's point, like, we're, like we have to persevere up those hills. But, like, to be there with your boy is just phenomenal. And Jack's 13, he's going to be a, you know, a 16-year-old teenager soon. How much longer do you think he's going to want to do this kind of stuff with you? Well, it's funny you say that because I feel like I've got to capitalize on these moments because I, I think in my head, oh my gosh, this might be the last year that Jack says, yeah, Dad, I want to do rag bride with you again. Yeah. So I, I try to take advantage of it as much as I can. And what do you think about that, Jack? I want to keep going until I die. All right, with Dad. <laughs> As a lot of you know, I had a rough finish to the Tour Divide, and I haven't really ridden a bike much in the last month. And today gave me a little confidence. I have a new seat on my bike, and it feels great. And, uh, it just feels good to be back on my bike and back at this event, back in Iowa. It's really special. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Connor. Hello. How you doing, bud? What are you wearing? Uh, this is my sleeping bag liner, so this is my tunic. I love it, Keep man. Keep me warm in the morning. <laughs> Good morning. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Dana. <laughs> it's kind of fun to wake up with all of your friends. They're all right here, and everybody seems to be in a good mood. Everybody's in a good mood, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're smiling while brushing your teeth. I love it. <laughs> right on day two. Here we go. Here we day go. Two, How are we yeah. all feeling? Day yeah. two. I love you. I love you. Ready, I love ready, you. Ready, ready. All right, team doozer. Let's go have some fun. Woo! My beard looked like, but my arms. 
I've got my Java and I've got my Jesse. Hey, hey. Yo! How you doing, Tom? Oh, Ryan. Good How to you see doing? you, buddy. Woo. First hill of the day. How we doing, everybody? Hey! Hey! Woo. Woo. Thank you for being here. Here is a very important rag ride tip. Whenever you get to the big towns for breakfast or for lunch, they're super crowded and the lines are a mile long. If you ride outside of the town a little bit, you'll usually find a much more chill situation going on. And these people here are making grilled cheese. Not only do they have grilled cheese, but they have cute doggies. These are sisters from the same litter. Oh, hi there, cuties. Hello. Viking happy. Thank you, grilled cheese people. You're amazing. I haven't eaten my beard. You have no grilled cheese in your beard. I didn't eat enough. Good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun back there? Good job, Dad. Nice. You're a champ. Going up that hill with two kids. Go, go, go. My name is Brooklyn Peterson, and I'm from Griswold, Iowa. I was crowned the Cass County Fort Queen in April, and as queen, I go around to events like this, such as Rag Bri, and I talk to people about how awesome pigs are and how they should get involved in the pork community. And how awesome are pigs? They're amazing. They're the best animal ever. What do you love about them? I just love how they're so cuddly and sweet, and people might think they're scary, but to me, they're just like great big dogs. Two years ago, I met this lovely lady, and she's back again. It's Savannah of the Dream Team. Hi, you guys. How you doing? I'm doing very good. It's been fun lately. And how's this rag rag experience been? It's, the hills are pretty good. I thought it was going to be really hot out here, but the weather's pretty good. The hills are pretty good. The people are a little bit okay. Um, then I saw like a lot of people walking up the hills and I'm glad that Dream Team have trained us a long time to do this so we don't have to walk up the hills. No, no, you're strong girl, yeah. what's up? I'm 16, going to be turning 17 in September. Right on. So yeah. And are you going to be riding for the rest of your life you think? Yes, right most on. definitely. Good, Savannah, so good to see you again. Bye, thank you. Cheers. Bernard, this is your um, first time doing gravel? This is my first time doing gravel. Yesterday was my first time doing gravel. So I'm learning a lot from Team Brian and I'm having so much fun. Good man, we're yes, glad sir. to have you. Awesome, thank you, thank you for having me. <laughs> Yay, way to go! Congratulations! Thank you. Yeah. When did you get married? July 13th. No way, this yeah. is your honeymoon? Our this honeymoon. is it. Sweet. <laughs> Do you have a really big tent? Uh, no, a really tiny tent. It's, it's intimate. <laughs> Even better. I wish you a life full of bicycles. I'm just having a hell of a time today. There you are. Today's even better than yesterday. That's how it goes. Every day better than the last. That's right. That's a life motto. Every day better than your last. Oh, his shirt's off. Nips out. You know what that means. It's worm pull time. That's good. That's good, huh? On the count of three, we're all gonna howl as the sun goes down. One, two, three. I am really loving that we have Team Doozer all in one place this year. It's been fun to get to know everybody. We hang out every night. We just, it's like being part of summer camp. It's adult summer camp and it makes me happy. And I get to know all these goofballs and all these weirdos pretty intimately. <laughs> Something very magical is happening that does not happen in Colorado, fireflies. Fireflies are a big treat for me. I remember growing up seeing them only in like TV shows and movies, wondering if they were real. And then I finally went to the Midwest and saw them. And they are real and they are pure magic. <laughs> I'm loving this. It's everybody's favorite Connor. Oh my God, dude, not this again. <laughs> 
<laughs> How you doing, bud? I'm good, man. What is it? It's day three. Day three. Um, my legs are tired. Um, I can feel them. Uh, I've packed this bag four times. Every time it feels like the first time. <laughs> Can't quite get the order right. Um, but I, I'm excited. Hopefully we can ride, uh, get a good little group today. The group group vibes have been awesome. So I think today we start hammering it. Miles are gonna start ticking up. That's right. And ladies and gentlemen, he is riding the brand new Priority Gemini with the Pinion Smart Shift. All you gotta do is push these little buttons. Zip, 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 zip. And it just works. <laughs> Daryl, how you doing, bud? I am doing great, I'm happy. I'm what do you think about Ragbri? Ragbri so far has been fun. Yeah. It is a lot of miles and you know, but all the people are really nice as my first time here So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to get this 83 miles down. It is Casey's breakfast pizza time I love our morning little picnics out here. How's everybody doing? You got some good stuff? Doing great. All right. Jabba. Jabba need monster. Monster drink and monster cookie <laughs> All right, is everybody ready to rock and roll? Yes. Woo, Woo. let's do it. Yeah. Connor, yeah. thumbs up. Doink. Yeah, where do you get that? I love these early Iowa mornings. The weather is perfect. The sun isn't high in the sky. It's not hurting us yet. There's a little bit of mist in the air. And uh, it just feels right. Uh, this is Mickey. Mickey, what a cutie. Yeah, yeah so he's oh, been riding uh, for about six months already. Um, he's three years old, Jack Russell Terrier, um, but he really enjoys it. After, for, it was a struggle getting him in the backpack the first time, but after that, if you associate with a bike, it's just, yeah, it's his most exciting thing. The only thing he's more excited for on this trip is Mr. Porkchop. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's gonna be a long day today, 82 miles, but, as I like to say, I may not be the fastest on the hills, but I'm gonna get from point A to point B and enjoy every minute of it. Yeah, buddy. And how do you uh, most, how do you maximize your enjoyment? Oh, enjoying everyone around me. Um, meeting new people, just soaking in the camaraderie, the friendship, and the encouragement too. So, uh, and just soaking in the scenery. There's no other place in the world like Iowa. Everyone says, oh, it's flat, it's corn. That's the beauty of it. So that's how, even though it's 82 miles, I'm gonna enjoy every minute of being in Iowa and being with about 20,000 other fun-loving cyclists. What's up, Danny? How's it going, buddy? How's your rag ride treating you? This year, way better. I haven't been to the hospital. All right, good. <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> Why'd you go to the hospital last year? Man, dehydration, it was so hot, I couldn't keep enough fluids in me. There he goes. There's our man, Danny! Yeah. We're probably going at least 25, 30 miles an hour, just to give you an idea. And Danny's surfing. How many miles do you think you surf every year at Ragbri? Uh, so the first year was over 250. The last year was about 168. I, for a long time, struggled with wondering what my purpose was in this life, and for until 2017, I didn't think I had purpose. I, I really struggled to think I was here for a reason, and that was kind of the, the tipping point for my own struggles and my, my own suicide attempts. So for me, it was uh, knowing that I have purpose and I have a reason to be here, and, and as simple as it is, to make people smile. I'm part of the One Pedal at a Time movement, an organization to get kids on bikes and to raise suicide prevention awareness. Uh, what started that organization was my own struggles with suicide. I attempted suicide three times. I was planning a fourth when a friend got me on a bicycle. Uh, that friend changed my life on our third bike ride by telling me a phrase called, it's one pedal at a time, left, right, left, right. And that was really the changing phrase of my life. It became my mantra for myself. And eight months later, I left on my own journey to bicycle the lower 48 states for suicide awareness. Uh, along that journey, I, well, how that was planned was I visited the friends I served with. They lived in 35 states, and to do those 35, I had to do 42. So 
What's the extra six at that point, right? Look at these little pools. We got our own private pool. It's time to get in. Time to get in. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice and cool. <laughs> Woohoo! We're the Tub Brothers. We're Tub Bros. Whoa, Java, what happened? <laughs> I don't know, man. They putting something in this corn out here. <laughs> Jack's gone. Woo! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, 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 oh yeah. Get yeah. soaked up, get oh, soaked yeah. up, soapy yeah. dope. Bump. Yeah. Ba -da. I got soap in my eye. I can't see. My name is John. They call me Santa for obvious reasons. I'm from the Cayman Islands doing this for the first time, having the time of my life. And it's just uh, the camaraderie and the fun little towns and the happiness and the smiles and all the new friends I've made in just the first three days has been amazing. Look how cute you are. Yeah. And you know what's in this package right here? A fry pie. These are my favorite of all the pies. Look at that. Right there. It's going in that mouth. The dark hair hole. <laughs> Must feed. <laughs> Must feed. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. These are kind of hard to find, surprisingly, but we bought it from a nice Amish lady. Mm -hmm. And I know it's going to be good. It already is. Is it good? It's very good. Very good? Yeah. There's my pickle people. How we all doing? Woo! We got one, two, three. Woo! Woo! I found my very favorite of all favorites, Dana! Hola! How Hi everyone! How you doing? I'm doing awesome now, but you know, you have to be super honest about these things. And I had a rough patch. Yeah. But I made it through it! You made it through! I did! My tummy was just like, okay, I don't know if it's good to have coffee, electrolytes, and pickle juice <laughs> all at the same time. Bad things happen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but no, I'm loving it! Yay. So we just rolled into winter set and we have a lovely volunteer. I'm anything but lovely. He can do, he can do My it. name is Mike. There it is. Winter set is the birthplace of John Wayne. Two blocks up, turn right, you can't miss it. We have a museum on, on top of it. Red delicious apple, the bridges of Madison County, cold turkey, and I'm sure some virus movie that was filmed here at one point in time. <laughs> right on. Thanks for having us, man. Right on. Look at that. John Wayne. I didn't know his real name was Marion Robert Morrison. Winterset, Iowa. There he is. There's the man. You meet the best people outside of gas stations. How you doing, brother? I'm good, man. How are you, Rad? Good. So you decided to do Radbri. Why? Of all your wonderful videos, man. You know that. <laughs> Well, uh, so what do you think about it then? I love it. It's an experience. Yeah. Uh, it, it's well worth the price of admission. Yeah. It's been great. And what do you like most about it? Like if you went home after this week, what are you going to tell your friends about Ragbrai? You get to see everybody from all over the world and you get to see a lot of neat camera cameras equipment. Yeah. I like to watch the bikes and the people and visit this pretty lady oh hi, hi yes, yes. <laughs> this pretty guy <laughs> this pretty guy oh, that, that there's the best shot of the deal <laughs> that's right so what do you love most about riding your bike man oh man freedom yeah freedom it, that's my medicine that's my medicine i believe it man well, i'm so glad you came out here and you gave it a shot and you have a big smile on your face i love it i love it Nice to meet you and Dana, man. Nice you guys rock. You. you guys rock. All right, Java, what do we have today, my friend? Oh, I have a genetically modified uh, converged um, uh, mm. chocolate and uh, maple eclair and donut. Oh, man, look at that. Breakfast pep. Get it, get it. I feel like Casey's is the Cheers bar of Iowa. This is where you go to meet your people every morning. It's the spot. My first official slice of Casey's breakfast pizza. What do you yeah, think so far? So far, so good. It's almost it. gone. You want a bitey bitey? Yes, I do. <laughs> rise and climb and go climb your bikey bikey. Rise and climb and go ride your bikey bikey. Rise and climb and Woo! Go climb your bikey bikey, children of the corn. Yeah. <laughs> no rise, no rise, no rise.
No whammy! Yeah, let's go do it! So I bought this bike September 1st of 2023. I was 100 pounds over its stated weight limit. So like it's rated for 270, including the bike. And I was 380, I think. And uh, I rode it to the point I'm well under its weight limit. And uh, I've put over 4,000 miles on it since September 1st. Right on, man. Yeah. It's killer. I, I yeah. love it. I'm obsessed. It's put up with a ton of abuse. My first every milestone, like my first 10 miles, first 50 miles, first 100 mile, uh, all those uh, milestones, first backpacking trip, bike packing, all of that. So my name is Ryan Gruel. I'm from Ohio. Uh, I picked up a bike in May of 2023, started riding like crazy. The whole inspiration be behind riding is that in January of 2023, I weighed 487 pounds and I wanted to make a change in my life. I started trying to walk around town and stuff. My knees were killing me. So I picked up a bike and set some very ambitious goals. I wanted to do Ragbri and I wanted to do Pittsburgh to DC on my bike. I finished Pittsburgh to DC. I'm part way through Ragbri. I'm 247, 248 pounds down. And that's as of the start of Ragbri. I'm hoping that I come out of Ragbri less. So I'm watching the pie. But uh, yeah, I just bike a lot. And so how are you feeling? Like you must feel so much better. Feel well. So I feel like half the man I once was, but I also feel like I have energy off the charts. Uh, everything feels good. My knees feel better. Uh, my life just is better. It didn't just make me a better person health, like health wise. It also allowed me to be a better father, better leader, better husband. Um, and it's, it's just a mindset shift. Like when you get into changing your health, it doesn't just affect your health. It, ha it affects everything. There's something about being able to push yourself further and further and further and just see what your body's capable of. And the bike really allows you to do that and not beat yourself up too much. Like if I wanted to go run, I'd have, like I did, I ran a 5K in March and my knees hurt for two weeks. I have a three year goal to plan a trip across America uh, bikepacking and Dan heard, he, uh, he inspired that. Happy hump day! Happy hump day! Yeah! Woo! Happy hump day, she says. That means Wednesday. Get your mind out of the gutter, people. Woo! There's my man. How you doing, hey, buddy? Doing great. How about you? Good to see you. Good. Good to see you too. You having fun? Oh man, I'm just having a fantastic rag ride. Gas yeah, station party. Cheers. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. That's the only shade in Iowa, right here. The gas station. It's nice. It's nice shade. <laughs> Uh, I'm Devin. I'm Liam. I'm Kieran. And we're riding Ragbri. Yep. Yeah. What inspired you to come out here and bring your boys? Uh, so this is my fourth Ragbri and I loved it the first time I came out and I thought this would be a great a bonding experience between me and them. So here we are. And what do you think about the experience? Uh, very difficult. This <laughs> is definitely something that challenges me, especially day three with the 82 miles and the most climbing. I felt very fulfilling afterward. Mm -hmm. Right on. And uh, how about you over here? It's been really tough, but really fun. Overall, I feel like it's been one of the hardest things I've done in my life, but one of the most fun. And I'm excited for day six, 100 what miles. What makes it fun? Like when you go home and you tell your friends about Ragbri, what are you gonna say? It was really tough, but I got through it and I met a lot of people. It was a lot of fun, ate good food, slept in tents. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh. That felt lovely. Bye. 
There aren't many tunnels on Ragbri where we're coming up on an overpass and we're gonna call it good. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. Nice bidet. Yeah, it's a little bidet. <laughs> Look at that. Go away, Ryan. Breakfast pizza delivery. Go away. Um, happy yeah. Thursday, everybody. Yay. Yay. We're heading into day five. We're getting rolling. I think everyone's moving a little slower today. I'd say yesterday, everyone was already out of camp at this time because we have a shorter day today, 62.9 miles to Atomwa. Hey, Dana. Hey, Ryan. What's today? Well. Here's the official title of today. It is my golden rag birthday because we're riding 63 miles on my 63rd birthday. Yay, happy yeah. birthday. Turn, let's see that shirt. Happy birthday it? shirt. Look at that. It has a tractor on it. Yeah. I feel like so grateful and so thankful because I get to celebrate it. And I gotta say, like people that are like, oh, it's my birthday, I'm getting older. I'm like, what a gift. It's such a gift. Like sometimes I wake up and I'm and I'm so thrilled about life. I'm like, it's like every day is my birthday. But yeah, I'm I'm so psyched. I'm so glad to have made it to 63. Good to see you, doozer. It's Captain America. Captain America, got my shield. Got your shield over here? Got your shield over here. Oh, that's awesome. You know, another thing I love about the Casey's is not only the food and the pizza and all the parties out front, but they always have porta potties, which is a very cool addition, right? right We're happy about that. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Yeah, buddy. How are we doing? Rag Rag. So we've got Sheila here. Hello. How are you doing? Tell I me about your ride. Doing awesome. Today is day five and uh, feeling strong. Legs are a little wobbly, but you warm up and they go numb. Just keep pedaling, <laughs> right? Just keep pedaling. Yeah. And you're riding an e-bike. How's that helping? I'm on a current E1. That's my goal. It's helping tremendously. I use it on the hills, on the flats. As the day, weeks progressed, I've been using it on the flats a little bit, but E1 is my goal, and uh, getting about 90 miles on the battery, 125 miles on the extender, so it's going great. Awesome. Highly recommend it. Keeps me and my husband together. He's not on an e-bike, so he and I are riding well, probably about 2,000 miles at this point for the year. Wow. So it's been awesome. That is so cool. What are you loving about Ragbri? The fact that it's in Iowa, we lost our daughter in December, and uh, yesterday I was coming down a hill, and in my ear I had this song, Jealous of the Angels, going in my ear. And I go around the corner, and I see all of those Iowa cornfields, and I hear Kevin Costner say, <laughs> his dad in Field of Dreams, is this Iowa, or is this heaven? He said, no, it's Iowa. And I had not thought about that movie until I got up around the corner and God is good um, to get us through all trials. He is so good. Feeling really strong spiritually, most of all. You look good, man. Yep, thank you. Woo. Brought it all the way up from Georgia, so. <laughs> you gonna do some cool tricks later? Get over that. Bunny hop, come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. High five, high five, high five, yeah, thank you. Okay, we're fundraising for our team, um, for fall ball. What's fall ball? Uh, our uh, softball, travel ball, 
uh, in the full time. Right on. Next month, yep. And your team is called the Crush. Yep. What's up, let's hear it, Crush Lady. Yeah. yeah. The best lemonade stand on Rag Bra, you gotta stop. Yeah. Yeah. Really? We've got the Hello Kitty bike. And then we have a yard full of kitties. Come here. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, oh look at that. Look at you. Oh, he's scared. This is an obvious place to stop. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Oh, kitty time. Hi, hey, buddy. Hi. Oh. Hey, get your own. Get your own cat. <laughs> get your own cat. Hi. This is the cat situation here. <laughs> Brought in all the riders and the Jabba's. All the Jabba. And this old farmhouse right here. Oh yeah, what's your goat's name? Cleo. Cleo, how old, how old is Cleo? Three to four months. Oh, what do you love most about Cleo? Uh, all three of them are three to four months. Yeah? Um, she likes lovin's and she also likes to play fight. Fun. Hi. And she also runs. Oh yeah. Hi. Let's see it. Oh, look at her go. Have you ever seen so many bikes in your life? Nope. Nope. We've never seen Ragbri. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. This is Iris. Iris. Yeah. She likes AKA to play. Peanut. And she's funny. She's funny. Does she tell you jokes? Yeah. <laughs> she runs. He runs? Okay, let's see it. Oh, there we go. Gravel, gravel. Gravel, gravel. Gravel, gravel, gravel. We love the gravel. Happy birthday to Dana! Happy birthday, dear Dana! Happy birthday to you! We love you, Dana D! We love you, Dana D! Yeah, Dana! All right, you have a, a special passenger. I do. Tell me about him. This is BB. He's able to fly. Whenever he wants, come on, Bebe. These folks want to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Bebe. <laughs> there Look he is. Him. What a cutie. He, he, he talks all day. Uh, he, he'll squawk like he heard. That's his flock call. He has defined, birds define who's in and out of their flock. So birds mean anybody not in their flock. That's why some parrots hate everybody but their owner. He has defined the whole human race as his flock. So he'll let anybody hold him on their finger. He'll take selfies on shoulders, and when he flies, sometimes he lands on other people and freaks them out. <laughs> All right, let's Bebe, see. What do you think, BB? You ready to do some flying? Let's see if you're ready to fly. Ready? Let's go. Oh, hi, BB. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Let's try oh. one more time. Come on, you can do this. Oh, I got on my head. Hey, there he is. <laughs> yes, this is so proud of you. Can I give me a kiss? Thank you. Oh. And now he gets his treat. Okay. A cigarette. No, not a cigarette. <laughs> now watch. Oh, he can eat that? Well, oh yeah, he's got to hold it in his foot though. <laughs> if you hold out your finger, he'll step on your finger. Really? Yeah. Hold out your finger. Watch, he'll even put the cashew in his mouth so he can step oh, over. Wow. And then he'll go back to eating. <laughs> Now this is a pool. Wave pool. This is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, how are we all doing? Yay! There's some birds right now up in the sky. Just a little bit more rag ride magic.
Connor's eating his breakfast Twizzlers. Yeah, I've heard there's no Casey's. This has uh, sand and grit, and now it has chamois cream on it. So, mm. yeah. Right. No crashies, no flatties, no, no, no whammies. Tell me about Iowa Nice. Iowa Nice? Yeah. What can we say about Iowa Nice? How do we explain it? It's just better. very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Is it in your blood? Everybody's just kind of like welcoming? Well, I think so. I That's think the so. way we were trained and raised. <laughs> just be nice. <laughs> I love that. I yeah. love that. Very nice to me. Don't me. Don't hate me. One, two, three. Baby's first rag ride. Yep. We are on a mission to see the American Gothic house. You'll know when you see it what house we're talking about. It's pretty iconic. Look at this, perfect, perfect timing. You got here just in time. There's your house, right there. Look at that. Inspiration for the American Gothic house, right there. Gravel, gravel, gravel! Gravel, gravel, gravel. Java's got some good lemonade Fam made by this guy right Famous here, Lincoln. Lincoln. You having fun out here today? Mm -hmm. Everybody come to Lincoln's lemonade stand. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Great, how about you? Doing great. So tell me about your, your pancake throwing technique. It's all on the wrist. It's all on the wrist? All right, Ready? here we go. Woo! Oh, man. That's, yeah, that's, that's a solid one. That's a good throw. There's my dudes. What's up? It might not be nearly as hot as last year, but it's still very hot. It's very muggy. Muggy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Uh oh. Ugh. Oh yeah. Fast race. This is my official last day of work, and tomorrow will be the start of my retirement. And you chose to celebrate on Ragbride. Yeah, Ragbride, I've been doing for 35 years, so it just continues. That's crazy. Hey, Connor, what's up, man? How are you? I can't what are you up to? Believe, what are you doing? I can't believe we've made it. Day six. It hurts. Everything hurts. The body hurts. What hurts the most? Uh, just the, the, the legs, the spirit is trying not to break. But how is your heart? Dude, my heart is huge, man. The heart is huge. Like, uh, everybody here and the vibe, it's like, in a way, I just want to, like, race to get back here because I want to see everybody. And then when I roll up, I get to see everyone. So it's perfect, you know? And, I, and, and if I get in a little bit later, everyone's already set up so I can walk right into the party. Yeah, baby. Wake up, everybody. Wake up. <laughs> oh, it's a sad morning. It's our last morning together. Hi, Java. I can smell your camera. How you doing? <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Hi, Chris. You're on camera. Oh, it's Jack. What's up, buddy? Hi. Congratulations on your first 100 miler yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. Yeah, pretty tired. How are you tired. feeling today? Pretty tired, but ready to knock it out. I've been contemplating my six days, and one thing's for certain, everyone's having the time of their life. You know, like, for, mo for I would imagine for a lot of people, either you've done this a handful of times, a dozen times, or it's your first, and it's like, like the trip of a lifetime. And even if it isn't your first, it's still the trip of a lifetime, you know? 
Thank you, wonderful, flat, soft Iowa grass. It's time to hit the road with all these wonderful humans. All right, here we go, team. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. I don't want it to be over. I'm gonna miss you all. I'm gonna miss you. Let's ride extra slow. <laughs> Savor every minute. Hi there. Oh, and you have another little one. A super little one. I don't like attention. It is the final gravel section of Ragbri. I've really enjoyed all the gravel. Whoever put this together, thank you. It's been beautiful. I love the break from the crowds. And of course, I just love the dirt. It's beautiful out here. Well, my name is Linda Jones, my husband is Tom, and Ragbri has never ever gone by our house, and will probably never ever go by again. <laughs> so we wanted to meet people, and this has just been absolutely fun. So, um, And you were born here? I was. Uh, there was a little three room, no plumbing house down, down under those trees. We love it here. It's beautiful, and we like to go to the big cities. We like to go travel, but we always like to come home. Yeah. It's it's a good it's a good life. We've been retired for uh, twelve years. Thanks for having us. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for stopping. Go. I know you, you can, can do, do it. it. You're you can do it. There. <laughs> you're almost there. Thank you. So your sign says, "Great job." What does yours say? You are almost there. Almost there. Mine says, "Go." I know you can do it. Woo! Welcome to Burlington. Oh, So the line to actually dip your tire is a mile long. So we're gonna go just the pirate way. Jabba's gonna lift his bike over, maybe with my help here. Rah! Here we go. Right, Dad. The, the official here tire dip Dad. in the Mississippi. Yeah, it's been now dipped. Kiss our tires. This Dad. one's for Grandpa. Kiss our tires, there you go. What is up, my friends? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, you are indeed. A super fan that was a long video but just think it took me seven days to make that 55 minute video for you to enjoy i really hope you enjoyed it as you can see rabbi rag bry is just full of magic and good people and i hope some of you out there who haven't experienced it can come out and experience it someday i'm not sponsored by rag bry at all i just love it i love it so much and we will be doing some sort of a team doozer in the future. Stay tuned for announcements about that. We certainly have a lot of fun. And I want to say thank you to Priority Bicycles. They are the ones that really put in all of the work to make Team Doozer a success. You know, all the t-shirts and all the gear and the organization and logistics, all that stuff. So thank you so much to Priority Bicycles. And thank you to you for watching my videos. You mean the world to me. If you enjoy my videos, please consider joining my Patreon. You will get early access videos, videos with no ads. You will get access to chatting with me or asking me questions about anything your heart desires. If you don't have the ability to do that financially, that's okay. My videos will always be free here on YouTube. And uh, stay tuned for the next adventure. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be, but it'll be awesome. And in the meantime, as always, Get off your couch and get out there. Woo!